hell? Why is she outside? Oh my God, wait, what? The washing machine is outside? Talk about a horrible house layout. You gotta walk way out here to wash your clothes. Oh no, man, this does not seem practical if it's like snowing or it's cold as hell. That seems very. I mean, I would have thought that was the wind, honestly. Oh, shit. What the hell? Is he holding it? You're like an idiot. You could have moved that over, hopped out, came back around, then opened it. Like, there was plenty of ways to do this. What's your name, Annie? We have the kid, though. This dude's making her leave to go pick him up? What a lazy fuck. Oh, he's got you whipped, whipped around your... Well, come on, get your coat. We're going to pick up Pa. I don't want to. Look, Lindsay, I thought we understood each other. I want to stay here and watch this. Okay. <laughs> oh, this girl sucks. She's awful. She's like so shitty. Like, she's an idiot, and Pa seems like an <laughs> idiot as well. Like, he won't walk or drive. Like, how far are you? She made it seem like you guys were close. You're going to drop her her off at Laurie's. Oh shit, what the hell? I thought I heard somebody walking. Dumbass. The door was locked. Oh, that means somebody's in here. How's this? Oh, that's the one girl that was her boyfriend. Um, what's the other girl's name? I forgot what her name is too. Oh, Annie probably took Lindsay out for something. Annie probably took Lindsay out. Is Lindsay the little girl? Hey, let's look for a note. I don't know what kind of good babysitter you are when you're showing your these kids the thing. You can't be a great babysitter. It's gonna be the boyfriend saying, where's Annie? Doyle House. Hi, Lori. What's up? Oh, never mind. Uh, just sitting down for the first time tonight. <laughs> hey, is Annie around? <sighs> was it? I don't know if it was. You hear the breathing? Hey, you asshole. How did you open? How did he, how did the door open? Come on out. Oh my god, you hear the breathing? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, he stabbed you so and you like your body just stood there. Oh shit. What the fuck? Dude, that knife doesn't even look like it went all the way through. Oh my god, he's just looking at you too. It's creepy. That's very creepy. Hello? Uh, 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 Hello? Uh, 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 All right, Annie. First, I get your famous. Uh, she couldn't talk? Really? She couldn't be like, help! Oh, she's been choked, but. Are you damn. fooling around again? I'll kill you if this. Smart to call back. I mean, the, I mean, the smart thing would be to call the Paul guy. Oh, he picked up. I'm right there. Oh. I mean, homeboys should be just stuck to the wall right here. Did he take him off too? 
I'm assuming he took him off, but there should be blood everywhere. Oh, what? Does he think, does she look like her sis, like, um, like his sister? Is that, so he wasn't even looking for you, he was looking for... That was dope. Oh, damn! I was going to say, why didn't we do that earlier? Oh, damn it, lady. Can you hear me? Oh, God. Oh, help. Oh, Mike, go in there and kill help her. Me, she needs help and nobody cared. Wow, what a shitty neighbor. I mean, going into this house is probably... Oh, my God, he's taking a sweet last time. Going into this house is probably a mistake. The boogeyman. Yes, yeah, boogeyman. That's all you gotta say. What are you doing? Why would you turn off the lights? Just, you cut the phone. I'm saying, oh yes, nice. The needles. Oh yeah, grab a couple of them shits. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh. Oh damn. Oh, he didn't even like go out or nothing. Oh, that was. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, he didn't even, like, go out or nothing. Oh, that was... What are you doing? Get up. What are you doing? You think he's dead? With one stab to the neck? Like, not even with a knife, with a little needle? And you threw it on the floor. What the absolute hell? Not running outside, look for help. Not nothing. You... Okay. You can't kill the boogeyman. How can they not see him? Get in there, come on, Tommy. Oh, this is the this is the picture I've seen of I've seen this like picture and stuff where like he's breaking in. How did she get out of this situation though? Who else is in the house besides the kids? Oh wow, he didn't fall for that shit at all. What was even the point of doing that? Like, of even showing that when he we didn't even see him. They should have showed it from his perspective. Get an eye with it. Mm, bitch. Oh, get the knife. Get the knife. And stab him. Stab him. Mmm. Bitch. Why? Why would you do that? We need the weapon. Now he has a weapon again. Because Come here. what do you Come mean? Me. When you go down the stairs and out the front door, I want you to go Why aren't we going with the kids? Why are we staying? What are you doing? You deserve whatever happens to you. Like, what is happening? Like, oh God. Like, no, that was cool as hell, though. Like, why would you stay there? Oh, smart kids, though. Just running on screen. You should toss your ass down the stairs. Oh, yep, let's go, bro. Come on, Michael. Teach her a lesson for being an idiot. <laughs> oh, shit. We almost saw his face. Oh, shit. We did see his face. Oh shit. Oh, they always had intentions of a sequel. Is Jamie Lee Curtis in two? Is 
Is she in too? She's in too. Good shit. I didn't know she was in too. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was Halloween, the first movie. Um, It was all right. It was not bad. I wouldn't say it's like this. I get why it's a classic. You know, it was probably back then. This is like horror movies probably were really bad, and they didn't really know how to do them. And then this movie does a lot of things really right. Like, it makes you actually care about the characters a bit. It get, You get to know, the like, the characters that are, well, you get to know the girls for the most part get to know Laurie. There is no connection at all. Like, does he, did he become obsessed with them because of the early on in the movie when she went to, when her dad told her to drop something off right here? Is this why he becomes obsessed? Is it, be, is this why he sees her at the house and he becomes obsessed with her? Is that the only reason? Is there nothing else? Like in the, um, I'm pretty sure in the, um, in the, in the Halloween Rob Zombie one, I'm pretty sure it's like, like she's related to him. I think that's the, like the twist that they do there. But here it doesn't seem like that at all. It seems like he just saw her, became obsessed with her. Then he kills the, like he kills, uh, Annie. Does he kill Annie? Because... He, Annie to him looks like his sister, maybe? His sister didn't have, like, his sister didn't have curly hair. She had straight hair. Like, why did he kill his sister? There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of, like, un, unanswered things. Like, we never know why he did any of it. We We get the idea based on this doctor guy that he's like, oh, I've been his doctor for years, and thus he's been, like, trying to like help him and he's he keeps talking about like he's seen that this that this kid is a demon he's a monster he's there is no helping him he can never be out and put into society because he is evil purely we that's like, that's like what we get throughout the whole movie is that he keeps saying that and we just kind of got to go with it we we don't know exactly why or how and what michael's done besides that because at this point you you're like oh he killed his sister maybe there was some more stuff there maybe but it doesn't even seem like that. It just seems like he, even in prison, he felt no, or in the, the um, psych ward, he felt no remorse. He felt no anything. Because the doctor is very imminent on like, oh, you know, he can never get out. And then we got the three sisters here, right? Or the three friends, right? And, you know, we got a little bit to know about all of them, you know? But they don't, just, uh, the movie had legitimately a few jump scares. It didn't overuse the jump scare, though. I like that. The Some of the scariest stuff was just stuff like this, where she's walking. Um, and it's just like a scene like that, right? Where she's just walking, and then we just see this. This isn't a jump scare. And then when we get over there, there is no jump scare. I think we've had, like, two jump scares, maybe, in the whole movie. Maybe three. Um... But most of them, it was no jump scare. It's and they really did set up a two, so they always had intentions of making a sequel. Um, I guess I found it weird that the sheriff, who's the sheriff, him, right? Yeah, you're Annie's dad, but we never got a scene of him realizing that his daughter died. Like there was no scene there. You know, we got the little kids. I, I, it's the kids are fine. She was really good. I think all the most. I think most of the actresses were pretty good in the roles. They, you know, the kills were solid. You know, they weren't over the top. I mean, yeah, he kill. He slices her, stabs the one dude. Um, he uh, strangles the other one to death. So what? How, total, there were five kills in the movie. Yeah, five kills in the movie. There was the sister at the beginning, Judith. There was the garage guy, the um, how we got his suit. There was the three teenagers. But that was it. Like, there wasn't anything over the top crazy. I did like that the little kid kept saying, the boogeyman, the boogeyman. It kind of, and it kind of made you like him, like, him a little bit crazy, but he wasn't. And yeah, my, my biggest gripes with the movie, honestly, is that it takes a long time before anything truly happens. But I think that 
it's not even like a bad thing. I think it's just like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know what you could have done there to add some more attention. Because you always saw him in the background and always kind of saw him. They knew something was going to happen. I guess what bothered me is her, Laurie, right? Laurie? Yeah, Laurie. What it bothered me that she stabbed him in the neck. She just did, she did stuff that I'm like, why would you do that? Like, why would you run to the house with the kids? Like the better question, the better thing would have been to run down the street screaming. Then she goes in the house. He gets in the house. She like just waits here, stabs him one time, thinks she's killed him, goes upstairs, and I'm like, what? What are you doing? That happened like that happened twice where you stabbed him and you thought he died, maybe, but it's like you've barely done anything to this guy. And then he gets shot here at the end and he disappears. So I don't know. I thought it was a solid, I thought it was a solid movie. I feel like I enjoyed Nightmare on Elm Street more. Um, but it's also it's also a later movie though. So, uh, and I did I think I like this ending way more than Nightmare on Elm Street's ending. I don't like Nightmare on Elm Street's ending. So I don't know. I don't know how I would rank these right now. The only other one we have to watch uh, is uh, I have to watch Friday the Thirteenth. That's the other one I have to watch. I can fully kind of like see how I feel about all three of them. Um, of the ones that like you know I haven't seen it and stuff, but yeah, overall decent movie, pretty good movie. I would like I would easily give it like a seven, probably an eight on acting quality. You gotta also take into play the uh, the time it came out, the year, a lot of things, a lot of the camera angles, a lot of the camera shots, the way that the camera kind of hung on certain sequences was really cool. The use of the music, I guess that's just like a thing. I did, they also do that in Jaws where the, every time you think the, sh- the shark is coming, the music picks up. That was just like a thing. So, but yeah, overall, I very much enjoyed the movie. Hopefully you guys did as well. Gonna get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.